The Drew DT's journey on YouTube is a testament to the power of dedication and passion. Over the span of 11 years, he's carved out a niche for himself in the Dokkan community, infusing it with his unique energy and personality. All right, bitches. So we are back for more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle. All right, guys. We are back for another Dokkan battle video. Guys! Okay. Alright, I'm, I'm not an experienced Pick that blade back up, sir? Hold on, let me see that blade. It's no small feat to maintain relevance and engagement for such a long time, but the Truth DT's commitment to his craft has paid off in spades. Four years into his YouTube journey, he found his stride as a Dokkan Battle content creator, capturing the attention of viewers with his infectious enthusiasm and deep knowledge on the game. As he climbed the ranks, he became one of the biggest voices in the Dokkan Battle community, not just for the dedication he had for his content, but for the genuine connection he forged with his audience. But if you've been on YouTube for any amount of time, you understand that content creators and their niches tend to mix. And that's exactly what happened on October 29th, 2022, when one of YouTube's largest creators, Moist Critical, was recommended to look up a YouTuber who made content on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. That same YouTuber being the Truth DT. So join me on today's iteration of Dokkan Archives as we go over and discuss one of the craziest moments in Dokkan Battle history. At least to me. The Truth DT has spent well over 500 grand on Dokkan Battle. As we discussed on October 29th, 2022, at 11.03 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Moist Critical would take notice of one of his viewers' requests, asking him to check out a YouTuber by the name of the Truth DT. The viewer made the accusation that the Truth DT had spent over $500,000 on the game we all know as Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Piquing his interest, Moist Critical would quickly search up the Truth DT's YouTube channel. How do you know? Is it just like when he makes these videos, you can tell from what he has on his account? Almost as swiftly as Moist Critical stumbled upon the Truth DT's channel, he found himself navigating to Social Blade to check out the Truth's channel statistics. I don't know if the 500k is like accurate to what he spends on it. But I will tell you right now, even if your whole channel revolves around one thing, it it shouldn't be costing half a million dollars. That's like Mr. Beast levels. He makes it back. Yeah. I mean, I'll take a peek. <laughs> uh, just looking at the views at surface level, I don't think so, but let's see. According to the data gleaned from the site, Moist Critical estimated that the Truth DT ranked in around $12,000 per month. So about 6 million views per month. I don't know what his CPM will be. I don't, I don't know if he like says bad words. I know DBZ and anime is probably pretty decent and the algorithm probably pretty generous. I'd say uh, per average on month, he's probably right around that like 12K ballpark. However, the Truth DT has not publicly confirmed the accuracy of this estimated revenue, leaving room for skepticism. Moist Critical surmised that the Truth likely earns far more considering the site calculations only accounted for channel views and omitted other revenue streams, like live stream donations, peak periods of Dokkan's popularity on YouTube, and potential tax breaks. It seems about right he spends like 5k a month. Okay, if he spends 5k a month and makes like 12 or 13, that's absolutely worth it for him. The 500,000 number though, it'd take him years. 12k a month, y'all motherfuckers need to get taxed, that's ridiculous. Wait, what the fuck are you... Oh, you think it's not taxable income? How old are you? What do you mean? <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? Of course he's getting taxed. It's income. And if, if he's in California, he's losing 60% of it right off rip. Every dollar you make is fucking taxed, man. It doesn't matter if you're a YouTuber or not. 60% for business taxes? I'm assuming self-employment. Maybe he's set up like an LLC. I, I'm just now learning about this guy. I, I don't know how he's set up his business. I have no fucking clue. I'm working under the assumption he is self-employed. Though the exchange between Moist Critical and the Truth DT was brief and somewhat one-sided, both parties maintained an amiable demeanor. The Truth DT expressed his lack of qualms with Moist Critical's assessment of his channel, acknowledging only minor discrepancies, particularly concerning his financial matters. Despite the brevity of the interaction, the Dokkan Battle Twitter community couldn't resist buzzing about it, spawning numerous posts and discussions surrounding the impromptu stream encounter. The interaction between Moist Critical and the Truth DT was short, but its effect on not only the Truth DT, but the Dokkan Battle community was nothing short of massive. I know the Truth personally, and he's easily spent six figures, but makes it all back and tons more. I just don't think so. So that's why I had the social blade up, because I was curious what the monthly views were. At six million views a month and assuming great CPM, I feel like the highest end that he's getting per month is like 12 to 13k. 
maybe he's got like a really great like uh, CPM that I, I'm unaware of. But I feel like it just takes years for him to make that back at that rate. 